this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a fading LED on your Arduino breadboard. You'll need exactly the same as last tutorial. A breadboard, an Arduino, two jumper wires, wires male to male, an LED and a 470 ohm resistor. In order to fade our LED, we're going to use a technique called pulse width modulation. I've created some schematics. On the horizontal axis you see the time, and on the vertical axis you see the voltage to the LED. The 0% duty cycle and the 100% duty cycle are very easy. Here it's 0 volt, so the LED is turned off. And here the 5 volt indicates that the LED is turned on. But the steps in between are interesting. For example, the 25% duty cycle, which means 25% of the time the LED is on. So you can see here, it gives a pulse and then for 75% of the time the LED is turned off. Then it's turned on again, etc. These pulses become bigger and bigger. Remember, the technique is called pulse width modulation. So with these being the pulses, you see the width is being changed. So that's why it's called pulse width modulation. If we increase this pulse width in our code, then the LED becomes brighter and brighter. As I just said, we're going to use pulse width modulation. Pulse width modulation is used on port 11, 6, 5 and 3. It's indicated by these little dashes, as you can see here. Sometimes it's indicated by a tilde, but most of the time there is a little symbol which shows you there are different and special ports. So we're now going to start building our circuit. So I start with the LED and the long leg, for me the left one, is connected to a PWM port, which is port 11. Make sure you do not use port 12 from our last tutorial since that one doesn't support PWM. Then we have our resistor which I connect between the shorter leg of our LED and from that resistor we're going back to the ground exactly as we did in the last tutorial. So that's the circuit. I'm now going to show you the code. So here is the code for our fading LED. We start with defining a variable of an integer, let pin, and define it as 11. Because we connected our LED to pin 11, which is a PWM port. We tell the Arduino in the setup sequence that our let pin, which is 11, is being used as an output pin. And when we enter the loop, the magic begins. We created a for loop and what it does is the PWM port knows 256 steps from 0 to 255. So we say iterate over this loop starting with let fail being 0 and repeat it in steps of 1 till let fail is bigger than 255. Then we analog write, remember not a digital write since that is only on and off, to our LED pin, the current LED value, which changes from 0 to 255 in steps of 1. Then we wait 50 milliseconds in order for the next iteration. When we fade out, we do the same thing. We iterate from 255 back to 0 in steps of minus 1. Then we write the value to the LED pin and then we wait for another 50 milliseconds. When the complete sequence is done from fading in and fading out, we'll wait for 100 milliseconds or 1 second. Let's see what it looks like when we upload this to our Arduino. 
I've uploaded the codes to my Arduino and as you can see the LED is slowly fading in and fading out. After one cycle of fading in and fading out it pauses for one second or thousand milliseconds. If your sketch is not working as expected make sure that you have connected the LED in the correct way with the long lag to the red wire. That's it for today, see you next time. <laughs>